Amen. I hope you were encouraged by listening to, to Coach John Martinez, you know, about his reputation, making good decisions, pursuing something greater. Now the second person we're going to be talking to is Catalina Vargas. Hello, Carol. Hello. Hey, yes. Carolina. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, being faithful, uh, working you know, with the girl soccer team, and man, we just decided we made it to the playoffs. We have a next makeup game against Matai Bulldog on Tuesday. Wow. Also, so I just want to say thank you about you know, being part of this life purpose service. I know we want to hear how you're doing. I know the last time I talked to you, you just recently finished high school. And just share with me a little bit about your experience with the college life. Um, the college life has been awesome. Um, it's mainly been a lot of projects and essays. Um, but I've had Christ to guide me, so, so far so good. Getting good grades and good opportunities out of it. Awesome. So question number one, um, what greater things that you want to pursue once you finish college? Um, I want to pursue um, going to medical school and acquiring a medical degree so I can be a doctor. And I plan on hopefully being a dermatologist or an anesthesiologist. Wow, that's that, that awesome expectation. Um, what one of the things that you learned in, in college that really helped you to pursue something greater? Well, I've learned in college to manage my time um, so that I may do other things other than college. So I'm, in, I'm part of many organizations at my university and that takes a lot of managing time, especially so that I could keep my high GPA. Awesome. Are you like involved at like, uh, any like on club or any uh, after school activities right now? Yes, I'm in a sorority um, at my university and I'm also a student ambassador. And I'm hoping that I get a residence assistant job next year. You know, the last time I talked to Ryan Alvarado, we were talking about relationship and you know, the expectations and goals, or, um, what everything we guys want to do. Um, how have everything like, you know, being in college and, and having Ryan, you know, being behind you 100% and, and encouraging you? It's great. We, we encourage each other. Um, we have each other's backs and we push ourselves for each other to do great. So last semester, we both finished with very high GPAs and made the dean's list and we did that by encouraging each other to strive for better things and never settle. Oh, awesome, awesome. So who been the, the greatest influence in your life in college? Someone that you know that has been helping you and guiding you like step by step to help you get to a greater level? I think my parents have guided me the most step by step because I'm now where they were many years ago, and um, they're both high school teachers, so they have a lot of the resources, like college counselors, that they can call for me. And I feel that that's given me a very good advantage because their friends, like um, they have doctor friends that are doctors and things like that that know how to get to my goal. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Well, final question, uh, Carolina. What do you see yourself doing in five years when you step into something greater in your life? Um, hopefully, well, I plan on um, graduating college early. So I'll hopefully be in my second year of med school, um, doing a lot of clinical hours and learning a lot of different 
Uh, so I just want to say thank you so much. I know you and Ryan have been receiving the Bible scripture over a year. I just hope the tech ministry really helped you, speak to you on a daily basis. Thank you. Well, thank you for your time, Carolina. Um, I, I hope Ryan's doing good. I know he messaged me that he's fishing right now, but hopefully we can get, we can, we can get you guys back on and hopefully at the end of the year for another Q&A. Yes, thank you. God bless you. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye.